Thank you, Dr. Nadim. So I would like to talk about the update about the radiation therapy status in Saudi Arabia and the demand uh, for the uh, in the kingdom. So Saudi Arabia, for people who are really not very familiar, is very vast, standing country over almost like the whole Arabian Peninsula. It has a population of 36 million by 2021. And it's extend from the um, from the north of Kabul uh, Coral Gulf to the eastern region um, uh, to Damam and to the uh, uh, south of Najran and then Mecca al Mukarrama in the uh, in the uh, east. So the um, uh, commonest cancer, uh, in, uh, according to the statistic, is. Um, um, really uh, diagnosed in Riyadh, and that's, that's really just a pattern of the referral. It doesn't mean like, you know, all the cancer um, only diagnosed in Riyadh and the East Front region. So that's really constitute almost 50% of the uh, diagnosed cancer annually. And the rest of the, um, of the diagnosis really uh, expand around the other area. Um, so also like by the um, statistic, we have over 70 radiation uh, or clinical oncologists. And again, this is not very precise statistic, but that's really roughly the, the, the certified radiation oncologist. Um, so we uh, do have um, over 32 uh, linear accelerators that uh, are in operation. And for cyber uh, Lina, cyber knife, excuse me, that's also an operation. Six intraoperative radiotherapy, four rapid therapy units, and one gamma knife. Most of the services in uh, Riyadh, um, and then uh, to the east province, and uh, also the west province. And there is a small service in Kabul, which is in the north area. Uh, so. Um, uh, uh, looking at this, really, um, uh, we need more um, uh, linear accelerator, more uh, comprehensive cancer center, not only in Riyadh, but also in the other area to um, distribute or um, uh, allocate the patients across the region. So what has been done so far? Uh, recently, more project uh, has been ongoing, and I'm really talking about what we advanced to the service so far. For example, the bracket therapy project that we took um, at the King Fahd Medical City started in 2020, and uh, more installation of the new new Linux and, and Tomo machines in Riyadh, as well as more work in its way to build more oncology center in other area, as well as the Proton uh, project that's still um, uh, not uh, uh, mature. Uh, so for the brachytherapy project, uh, the, we uh, advanced the interstitial brachytherapy. So you can see here in one center, King Fahd Medical City, we uh, developed the interstitial brachytherapy. Five techniques so far um, adopted um, in the uh, in the King Fahd Medical City. You can see from the hybrid applicator, the 3D interstitial applicator, the full template, uh, interstitial uh, uh, technique, as well as the um, uh, hybrid with the um, ovoid interstitial applicator. So this really modernized the treatment in gynae uh, uh, oncology cancer, and hopefully will also be change the toxicity profile and a more controllable cancer. For the um, gynae, uh, for the GU, uh, we also uh, uh, started and developed the first prostate HDR um, in Saudi Arabia. I know my colleague also took uh, an amount for the LDR, but started the service and treated so far um, seven patients with this process. So what do we need? So I break it into a um, uh, few sections for the intervention radiation uh, uh, oncology. We need more training, of course, in brachy more equipment and better industrial support standardization of the treatment for the conventional radiation, more um, effort need to be done to bring more machines and also like uh, in uh, allocate those in, in, in other center, not necessarily in the other region. In the hypo and ultra hypo fractionated external beam radiation, again, more machine is really needed as well as more toxicity mitigation technique that need to be also um, uh, given attention as well as brought to the region. Of course, we need the collaboration uh, nationally, regionally, and internationally on research. 
For, so what's the, what's the plan proposed recommendation need more work for making the demands and for the populations growing and also like the cancer is increasing. More effort needs to be done for better industrial and institutional support. So there's still like lack or a little bit like, you know, involvement, especially from the West and the industrial support. The lack of regional guideline in the Gulf and between the center and Saudi Arabia, the need for continuous as well as better collaboration in the region, and of course, the need for a platform to have a collective um, agreement and a collective uh, uh, standardization. That's what I have, and thank you very much.